Hey guys, this is 941 Garage, and I just purchased a 2021 Toyota Supra. All right, since I sold the Z4, I kind of been wanting a Supra, so I've had my eyes set on one for a while. Before we get into details, I'm just gonna show you guys the damage. So, on Copart, it stated that it had front and rear end damage. So, nothing crazy, just you know, a little bit of pulling and replacing a few panels here and there and same thing on the bottom you know gaps are not too bad and then also we just have a slight little dent right here and on the roof which it's all not too bad it's just all body work uh, both tail lights well this tail light has a small crack this will definitely need to be replaced and same thing with this one and it also looked like on this side it had a minor side swipe with the wheel I can't feel any dents, you know, it's it's smooth. Like if I can literally just buff this out, okay. So then we're going up to the front. No significant damage on the front, but everything else looks pretty much intact. I did get another headlight and I guess this is the, the top fender, fender trim piece. Also, they did give me a front bumper. The front bumper is actually complete. I'm actually surprised. It does have a little bit of damage right here, but it just looks like it can just wipe off. The rear bumper is definitely not salvageable. It's all in pieces. Maybe we have a few sensors here and there. The car does not run and drive. The power is fully killed to the car. So blown airbag and then blown airbag over there. So, so far, everything doesn't seem too bad. Everything seems like it should be pretty easy fix, replace a few airbags. But let me show you guys the real problem. Let's open up the engine bay. Now this is where all the fun begins. This is where all the surprises are. So, looks like your normal, you know, B58 super engine bay until we pop this cover off. Are you guys ready? We have no injectors, no coil packs. We're missing the whole exhaust system, which in the ad, I did see that didn't have exhaust, but I was thinking, okay, so the car got rear-ended. So, you know, maybe the exhaust got damaged. So they either unbolted it from that section. That's not the case. It's fully <laughs> all the way to the downpipe, to the turbo. Everything is missing in this motor. There's a small hole here. Um, the engine harness is missing. And it's also missing the alternator and the AC compressor. A whole bunch of coolant lines. So then I pull the DME out. And what do you know? This car has been tuned before. You know, I was, I, I'm not surprised. I knew it was probably tuned. Maybe already unlocked because it had an intake on it. And also, another thing that concerns me is, this is a 2021. Usually, a 2021 has a six-port head. That's not a six-port head. That's a two-port. So, I don't know what's going on here. This, this car is a complete mystery. I guess whoever owned the car totaled it out to the insurance company. And prior to pickup, he took all the mods off the car or worse this motor is probably blown so he probably just scammed the insurance company here's the motor in the car here's the vin number and then here's the vin number in the car the car's vin number I'm also gonna show you guys some pictures of the transmission because the torque converter is completely missing as well. So they definitely swapped this motor out. And yes, th this car was sold through insurance on IAA, through an insurance company. 
So let me just hook up the battery charger. Okay. So I mean, everything turns on. Yeah, those things were moving, I don't know why. So I mean, the headlight turns on. This headlight, this is actually a complete headlight, but for some reason, someone cut the wire to it, which makes completely no sense. So let's just go inside here real quick. Pretty basic interior. Yeah, that explains it. <laughs> so, anyways, we have power to the car. So, we have some options. I'll probably show you guys a video on how we unloaded this thing. It's unbelievable how we unloaded it. Stop! Yeah. Just go all the way off? All the way off. Whoa! We couldn't get it out of, we couldn't put it in neutral and we couldn't take the parking brake off as well. So since the dash was inoperable in the auction, I did not know how much miles the car had. Last reported miles was 7,000. So, I don't know if I can zoom in. So, the car now has, so 18,553 that's not a lot you know i was i was thinking around i was thinking under 20. that was my guess when i was bidding for this car this is the premium option so you know it's not totally a base model i mean at least it gave me a key but you know who cares I basically got scammed. That's just that way to put it. You know, there's definitely a few things I could have done to avoid it. I did run a Carfax. Everything seemed to line up. There was there was nothing odd in the Carfax. It seemed fine. You know, until until this car came to me. So now there's a lot of questionable things. So yeah, guys, I'm literally at a loss. I paid a pretty good amount for this car. So now the real question is, is this worth rebuilding? In my honest opinion, no. <laughs> I just, I don't even know if they're gonna take it back. Cause this is just absurd amount of hidden damages. Hopefully you guys can take something from this video and definitely be a little more cautious when playing auction cars because you don't know what to expect. I just put the front end back on just for fun, just to see how it looks. So guys, what I learned from this experience is don't buy sight unseen cars from the auction. Things like this could happen to you. It really sucks, but this is the game that's played. But there's a few options in mind that I have. If auction doesn't take this back for all this hidden damages that they can reimburse me for or try to resell it, but I don't wanna resell it and have this happen to someone else because that's not what I do. So the only other option I have is maybe buying another one of these with way worse condition. Maybe um, just the complete destruction of title. Maybe a smashed rear end to the point of where it's unfixable, where it's just a parts car. Maybe I can just salvage the motor and the trans and all the components needed to finish this car. Because this car is not bad. It just has a slight rear end damage, which is very fixable. Hey, but we still got this car in its natural habitat on jack stance. Leaking coolant. Also, I did get a new shifter. If there's any shifter I recommend to you guys, it will be an RTD. This thing is amazing. Like the way it just shifts. It's butter smooth and it just slides into gears.
As always, guys, thanks for watching and stay tuned for more videos.